Also as well, something that caught my eye today, have you seen this? The Victoria uh, and Albert Museum, they've got this new exhibition basically. It's alongside like a, a Punch and Judy type thing and one of the descriptions here uh, is it's talking about uh, villains and they're saying that it used to essentially be the devil but uh, things have evolved and now what they do is they're talking about using a different type of villain that uh, reflects on popular public figures which is fine you might think but then they start talking about Adolf Hitler and Osama bin Laden and alongside them Margaret Thatcher a villain alongside the likes of um, Osama bin Laden and Hitler yeah. really now what I'm going to say is going to sound uh, as if I'm using hyperbole to exemplify my point. But we talked in the last segment, or I did, about the extinguishing of the nation state that is the United Kingdom. And actually, as trivial as this might seem, this is part of that attack on the United Kingdom. Margaret Thatcher was a democratically elected leader, I think the longest serving uh, prime minister since World War II. She set many records. She broke the grip that the far left had on our economy, liberated society, put aspiration first ahead of dependency. She's someone, whether or not you agree with her legacy, someone who we should regard as a great British historical figure. But they attack her, and in doing it, they're attacking our history. They're attacking those people who we should hold in high regard. And so the board of the VNA, whoever made this decision, I, I collectively the board, should be sacked. Really? Yeah, absolutely. And they should, they're not at liberty to vilify Margaret Thatcher, their discretion, when they're, when they're taking the public purse in order to d discharge their obligations. Uh, and by the way, I do have to say that uh, this museum got uh, most of its income, which is more than £67 million, pounds, from the taxpayer. Uh, apparently, this is by uh, the Department um, of Culture. Where are you on this? Um, first of all, I think that it has been taken out of context and it's misguided politicization of something that isn't political at all. They were t the exhibit is talking about the evolution of humor and they're using Punch and Judy and also references to the, the, puppet the puppetry show um, Spitting Image. And they said that the origin of Punch and Judy, is not, it seemed very British, but it wasn't. It came from it Italy and the Commedia dell'arte. And when it evolved over time, it became a very quintessentially British thing. And in the narrative of it, there's always a, a villain. It began as the, the devil, but over the, over the course of time, based on different iterations in different locations, the villain is depicted differently. So in a particular setting, it would have been Ad Adolf Hitler. In another setting, it would have been Osama bin Laden. And in a different setting, it was Margaret Thatcher. Look at the location, the time, the era where it was done, and it would give it context. I'm sure that if you saw Punch and Judy in Ireland at a certain time, it would have British political figures de um, depicted as the villain. So it's not saying that we are, the museum has an opinion on Thatcher and is endorsing that opinion for other people to join them. It's talking about the evolution of humour and the different kinds of depiction there is of it when you pick a classic, a classic piece of art like Punch and Judy. Is that fair? I, I don't think it is fair. I think that, um, I, you know, to... We're very good, the British, at laughing at ourselves. You know, it's something we do traditionally extremely well. And um, Spitting Image was a fantastic show in which everyone was equally yeah. belittled. Um, but what they've done here is put Margaret Thatcher alongside Osama bin Laden and Adolf Hitler. And even though it might be done in a semi-humorous -humor way, if that is genuinely the aim, at, at, at the very least, and it's not, I, I'd, I'd use the word subliminal, but it's much more than subliminal, they are promoting her as a villain. That's what they're saying. Margaret Thatcher sits here as a villain. They're not promoting anything. They're depicting the fact of what is because she was depicted as the villain in Punch and Judy in certain iterations of that puppet show. And but the but virtually what, everyone was in that puppet show. Yeah, but then no, what I'm trying to um, challenge is when you say that you, people must stick to one perception, you're doing it on the, other, on the flip side of that coin, saying that there should be only one depiction of Thatcher when it comes to their regard for her and her legacy. Mm, but the no, key is this, um, what will you have to accept? There are people who do see Thatcher as a villain. When it comes to discussions on poll tax, the catalyst, she was a catalyst for the demise of manufa British manufacturing and social housing. She was against the unification of Germany. She called Nelson Mandela a terrorist. There are people do, who do not have a very positive opinion of Thatcher or but her she, legacy. She, she is what she is, but to others, she might not be that same thing. Well, as far as I'm concerned, there is no basis on which she can be put in any comparable fashion next to Adolf Hitler and Osama bin Laden. 
lot in. And um, a lot of the things that she did, I agree with you, poll tax wasn't her brightest move, but actually the tax was a sensible, was a sensible suggestion. It's just that the people didn't like it. Um, it was typical Thatcherism. It was promoting what she thought was the right thing Would to do. Would you query the, the validity of, let's say there was Punch and Judy in South Africa, them depicting Thatcher as the villain? Well, that's not the, that's not the nation no, but that's, state of the United States. But then that's the actual context of the exhibit saying that it is depicted differently in different places. And over time, the villain has been these particular figures that it then actually makes you think, and hence this conversation we're having today, how, what is perception? How do people see the, the Thatcher you speak of is the yeah. same Thatcher that when I see her, I think of what she said about Nelson Mandela and the, the rhetoric she had about the unification but of But he Germany. did advocate violence against the state, didn't he? What was the motivation for what Nelson Mandela did? Well, well whether or, a man's one, one man's freedom fighter may be another man's terrorist and vice there versa. Is, there, is no, the, there is no, as far as I'm concerned, there is no debate on apartheid. It is what it was, and it is abhorrent. Well, I'm not... And anyone who was pro that purely for the base, basic, ba the financial gain of economic oppression of a people on their own to land... To say that Margaret Thatcher was that pro... To say that, that Margaret Thatcher was pro-apartheid because she described Nelson Mandela as a terrorist, uh, they're not the same thing. If someone's advocating violence, illegal uh, violence against the state, what? that is, uh, with a political motive, by definition, okay. that In is terrorism. Own, since you considered... Since you clearly are on that side, what yeah. was the very platform that generated the qualification of Nelson Mandela as a terrorist? What was he doing that qualified him? He, he said that violence was justified in the pursuit. Violence, of... yeah, was justified for yeah. what cause? Like, what was his the platform? He well, for the on? end of apartheid. Okay, so that's yeah. and that does not qualify what he said. There are... That's taking it out of context. No, you cannot, what you cannot Thatcher was. Well, I mean, we're getting things. we're yeah, going okay, down into, into the weeds. Now, but, but what Thatcher was challenging was the mechanism by which apartheid was was itself challenged. And uh, there is no excuse for killing innocent people. None, in my view. None. We have a first minister in Northern Ireland who will not denounce the IRA. As far as I'm concerned, the IRA is an outright terrorist organisation. And how we have a first minister in Northern Ireland that won't call them out is absolutely beyond me. And again, it plays testimony to the fact that we're seeing slowly the extinguishing of the United Kingdom. We've seen it now three times in this conversation. Firstly, over the uh, inability to police our borders, then the vilification of our national heroes and our past great prime ministers. And now we've got, literally, we've got a first minister in Northern Ireland who wishes to promote the, uh, you know, who won't denounce the IRA. And we've got a first minister in Scotland that wants the end of the United Kingdom. This is a really bad place that this country's in, in at the moment. Well, I don't think it's going to be getting uh, any better on some of these issues anytime soon, do you? I've got to say, the VNA uh, apparently said that they're always open to feedback from visitors, uh, and apparently what they're going to do is review the relevant label text and update the wording if necessary. So time will tell uh, what, if anything, they do about that.